Hola. I'm back, bitches and gentlemen. I don't know if that means anything, and I don't mean to offend anybody at all. Everybody's groovy. And this is, whoa, holy shaving cream. Things are a little tight here. But, uh, yeah, how do, we, how do we change the perspective? Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm back, man. I've got hot water and water again, man. Yeah, I'm back for a little while. We'll see how long I'm back in this particular dirty, or how long I'm here in this particular dirty kitchen. But anywho, uh, thanks to Delilah, uh, my daughter, for uh, uh, prepping the chicken tonight. Because we're doing fried chicken tenders, man. These are the best. And you can, the same recipes for uh, uh, fried chicken in general. Drumsticks, thighs, or whatever. This is how my I do my fried chicken. And it's kind of shooting from the hip. But yet, there's a uh, sense of aim. Hmm. You know? So, anywho, we've got... Uh, a uh, Hannaford friggin, it cost me six bucks for these two. And like I said, Jalala, Jalala prepped them. Friggin, these two bags. You don't want to put a whole lot in the bags of gallon Ziplocs. You don't want to put a whole lot because you're going to mix all this and everything. But anyway, to this, it's a. Uh, uh, Family pack of Hannaford chicken, whatever that is, three, five pounds or whatever. Five pounds? No. About three or four pounds. And you add to your uh, Ziploc an egg. And then another egg. So two eggs to your Ziploc. And try to put them in the same place. and let them sort of hang out in the same area because that's crucial in this and we may have to add a little water anyway so since I got two bags here and three in and so it's four eggs four hmm. eggs you don't have to get more eggs only got two left Alrighty then. So now we got our uh, eggs in there. I'm going to put these back in the fridge so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, so anyway, when you add your spices and everything to this recipe, try to put it on the egg. So it all mix and everything. Real good with the liquid of the egg. So I'm going to add probably... A table, I mean a teaspoon and a half of salt. A beautiful amount of salt. You know, going a little salty. There we go, there's one. Yeah, it's a beautiful amount of salt, man. Alright, and to that... You add a handsome amount of garlic powder, which is probably about mm, three quarter tablespoon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want a little bit more in here. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And I love this simp simply organic. It, it's good stuff. It's not that more expensive than Cormac and McCormick for the uh, uh, size of the spice, and it's friggin' good. It's friggin' good. All right. So now we're adding onion powder. Same thing, pretty much. A handsome amount. <laughs> I feel like Julia Child. Or Two Fat Ladies. Anybody seen that on PBS? Those guys were groovy. Jennifer 
Jennifer was so fucking funny, man. Pardon my French. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? All right, now we're going to add a handsome amount of uh, coriander. Yeah. Yeah. A handsome amount of coriander, which is about mm, three-quarter tablespoon. Now we get the coriander. I'm going to add a little bit over here. Yeah. Um, must be a new thing for me. But let's do this, people. Yeah. Now let's add a little heat. Now you don't have to add heat. Uh, I can't eat cracked uh, black pepper uh, because of my diverticulitis. And when I went to Bur or McDonald's once, friggin', uh, the, the young kid backed away from me when I said I can't eat a bun with friggin' the 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 Big Mac with the sesame seed uh, uh, bun on it. Friggin, can you make it without, without the sesame seeds? Because I have diverticulitis. And he backed away from me. He backed away from me like I, I had COVID or something. I don't know. But it was interesting. Anyway, uh, I can't eat black pepper. And, uh, but I can eat cayenne pepper. Uh, it's not as granulated and rock hard. And it doesn't seem to affect my gut whatsoever. So to this, you can either add cracked black pepper or uh, cayenne pepper. And I'm adding cayenne, man. Or you can add both. And I'm adding about mm, a good dose. I want these pretty spicy. There we go. I'm bringing maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Fuck it, I'm putting a little bit more in there. Damn it. It's all fun. This is like happy little trees with Bob Ross. You know, we're using happy spices. You know? Oh, look at those spices. Oh, no. What the fuck? I just spilled it all over the place? Yeah. Did Bob Ross have that happen? Probably not. Yeah, I get a little pile of cayenne pepper there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, that's really pissing me off. I just did that with the cayenne, man. All right, we're going to put this away. So anyway, now we got them in our uh, gallon bags, Ziploc bags, zip them up, and just start massaging the grapes, massaging the grapes, massage that shit, and mix it all together, man, get all that egg and everything. And all the spices and salt and everything you just put in there. Mix it all up. Mix it all up. Oh, this is looking awesome. I think we did this perfectly. This is the first one, man. You can only get better with two, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about, nothing against you. All right, so there we got one done, yeah, and I don't know if you can see this, it's all, it's all mixed together and everything, and it's pretty groovy, man, it's pretty groovy. Well, actually, that piece looks like it missed it. All right, well, we'll fix that. All right, mix that up. Let's do the other one. Like I said, this chicken amount cost me six bucks. Friggin', this would feed four rather handsomely with uh, the fried chicken or whatever. And if you serve something else with it. But yeah, these are the tenders, man. Boneless tenders, man. There must be at least three pounds here. 
So if you can get three pounds with the slices and everything and the flour that, I, that we haven't mentioned, I haven't mentioned yet, bring in and everything. It, it basically costs you like mm, eight bucks, nine bucks for friggin three pounds of homemade groovy tenders, chicken tenders or four pounds. I, I didn't r really look at, I, no, we, we took the garbage out. Friggin can't tell you uh, what the, uh, what the uh, poundage was in that package, but it was six bucks. So actually it was 650 and it was a doll 49 a pound. So friggin two pounds is three bucks. Three pounds is four fifty or four forty seven or whatever if you're really doing the math. And friggin' uh yeah, so uh basically four pounds. So four pounds for friggin' nine bucks. Try to get that at fucking Walmart, man. And it's fresh and groovy and, and you got to do it to yourself. Alright. We got that all mixed together. And what I like to, I mean, you can do it up right now, but what I like to do is let this sit overnight. Let it mingle and sit overnight in the refrigerator. And then you add about mm, two cups of flour to each bag and uh, do the same process. Mix it and mix it well until it's all breaded. And then if you want to freeze it, uh, put it on a pan with wax paper and put it in your freezer. If you got a big friggin' deer freezer or whatever, you know, you put your pan in there. If you can't fit it in your regular above the refrigerator freezer, friggin' um, move some shit out. Eat some other shit or move it, and move it out of there and put it in the fridge and eat it. But if you're going to freeze this and store it, Friggin', I suggest putting it on a pan and separating them and let them freeze hard and then put them in the bag. Friggin', because otherwise, it, I don't know. I also sometimes put the flour on, I put it in the freezer, and I pay attention to it all night. And friggin', as it freezes, and I go and massage it and friggin', break them up so they don't stick together into a clump when you want to take them out of the freezer, man. That always sucks. But, anywho's. That's pretty much and fry that shit or air fry it or bake it or I don't care. Do your own thing, man. I fry it. But anyway, this has been the fried chicken episode. Hi. Hi, everybody. The fried chicken episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! Alright. Bye, people. <laughs>